On the 1st of January 2022, Gracie and I set off to descend Titan, which is the largest natural cave shaft in the United Kingdom. The vertical distance covered from the entrance to the bottom of the shaft is 174 metres, of which 46 metres is travelled in a man-made entrance shaft on top of a hill near Castleton in the Peak District, which is what you are seeing now. Titan was originally rediscovered in 1999 via the Peak Speedwell cave system. Diaries of a miner from over 200 years ago hinted at the gigantic shaft's existence and a team led by Dave Nixon set out to find it. It took them three years of digging to access the bottom of the shaft from the existing cave system followed by a six day long climb to access the top, some 141 metres above. A window was located 20 metres from the top of the shaft into a horizontal passage to which the current man-made entrance shaft was dug. This took over four years to complete and was through some 46 metres of solid rock. Descending the shaft really gives you an idea of the amount of work that must have been involved and it really is an impressive feat and a sterling contribution to the caving community without which people like myself would be unable to enjoy the descent today. At the bottom of the entrance shaft there's a short stooping height passageway which is only a few metres in length and this leads to the window at the top of Titan. When we visited this was filled with a pool of thigh to knee deep water and this was the first indicator of how wet we would get on this trip. Here you can see Gracie rigging the first pitch of Titan, which is the longest pitch of the route at 62 metres. The pitch lands on the event horizon, which is a large ledge around halfway up Titan's shaft. While I was prepared for Titan to be extremely deep, I hadn't quite grasped just how horizontally large it is, especially near the top. You can see me here with my 12,000 lumen torch which is shining across the top of the shaft in an attempt to see some more detail on the other side. The torch is barely able to illuminate the area which is rather a testament to the size of the chamber rather than to the lack of power of the torch. I carefully move myself towards the side of the ledge in an attempt to see downwards towards the event horizon. The event horizon is only 62 metres below us, but this cannot be seen from the top, at least not from this angle, and only an awe-inspiring drop into darkness is observed. Oh my god, it's absolutely huge. The light doesn't even touch it. It was at this point that I realised just how far down 128 metres is in reality. In human terms, it's over 80% of the way up the Blackpool Tower. It is absolutely huge. That's sort of really nice. Try not to die on the way down. <laughs> With all the rigging done, Gracie started her descent down the first pitch of Titan, offering me the parting advice of try not to die on the way down, before promptly proceeding to drop herself a few centimetres on her descender. Okay. 
Looking down from the top of the first pitch gives a slightly better idea of the vertical scale of the shaft. Gracie is descending at this point and all that's visible is her head torch suspended from the rope while everything else fades into the darkness below. We have now arrived at the event horizon which is a large sloping ledge at the bottom of the first pitch and the start of the relay, which commences the second pitch. The event horizon is rather more spacious than I was expecting with enough room for several people to sit down and provides a welcome break in the 128 meter main shaft. 8 meters of vertical distance is covered whilst walking downwards on the ledge and anchors halfway down this slope provide a natural changeover point for your second rope. You can see Gracie disappear over the side of the ledge to where the anchors for the hang are located. This is a rather testing relay, which is completely free hanging and rather awkward to traverse, let alone rig. Here I am seen descending the final part of the Event Horizon ledge and making my way down to the Rebelay. In hindsight I was probably quite hasty in doing so as I had to hang at the Rebelay for some time until Grace had finished her descent of the final 58 metre pitch. It all starts to get rather wet at this point with a large waterfall entering from Cascades Inlet at the Event Horizon level, even in relatively dry conditions such as those which we had. In wet conditions this pitch is impassable and the bottom of Titan has been known to be completely flooded. All this waiting in the spray and dripping water from above further reinforced my belief that I had been hasty and gave me a rather long and wet period to think about it. The noise recorded on the video should give you a good indication of the amount of water flowing. This sounded very ominous when inside the cave and we did at times wonder whether a large lake would meet us at the bottom. There is no way to avoid rope rub on this relay, and while I did try to take care to avoid it, it seemed that every part of the edge of the ledge was just as jagged as the rest. Again we see Gracie's headlight descending into the darkness which provides an excellent sense of scale of the shaft, keep in mind that we've already descended well over half of it at this point and the bottom still not in sight. You can see me here arriving at the bottom of the cave and receiving a complete soaking in the waterfall which was rather unwelcome both on the way down and on the way back up. 
The upside was being able to momentarily relax, having finally descended the 128 metre main shaft. Solid, level ground was extremely welcome, having left the top around an hour ago. We didn't stop for long as it was getting rather cold and we were soaked through. There's a significant draft at the bottom of Titan and we were both glad that we're only a team of two as certainly waiting for anyone else to ascend would have been a very chilly and unpleasant task. I had time to get my good camera and bright lights out and an excellent sense of the scale of the shaft can be seen with it all lit up. The shaft is beautifully decorated with flowstone towards the top whilst the bottom is clean washed rock. The bottom of Titan was a truly awe-inspiring place to be and both me and Gracie felt extremely privileged to be one of the relatively few people on the surf who've seen it. We can only imagine how the original explorers felt when they broke through the boulder choke at the bottom of the shaft and looked up only to see the darkness above them. The ascent of the shaft was hard work but went off without any issues, with a short break at the event horizon to derig and rest. We both felt that getting out of Titan itself was relatively straightforward, but then the last 45 metres out of the man-made entrance shaft was extremely unwelcome, as well as the walk back down to the fell at Castleton. You can see the amount of rope stretch in my 9mm 80m rope as Gracie ascends it. In a way this can be helpful as you can work with the bounce if you time your efforts correctly. Nonetheless, it's a novel and interesting experience to bounce up and down at the bottom of the pitch. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and found it informative or entertaining or maybe a bit of both. Please leave a comment if you have any questions or maybe you've done Titan yourself. A like and a subscribe would be sincerely appreciated and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.